אחריך ירושלים, אשכח ימיני. That is the special presence. If I will forget Jerusalem, I will forget my right hand. This is the יישר כוח וגיב טוניטה לואי for fighting for Israel for many many years and we appreciate all of us. We love you. Yum Israel Chai, thank you very very much. Well good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is. And I must say that I wouldn't think twice of coming here if Sandy Khan invites me, I come. And Stuart and Sandy have been good friends for a very, very long time. Just to tell you a little bit more about it, I grew up in the Bronx, New York, not far from the Yankee Stadium. And as a member of Congress, in the 28 years that I've served, my district has changed. Part of the time it's all Westchester, then they gave me a little of the Bronx, then I had part of Queens, and in Queens there was a huge Russian Jewish community. How many of you know Queens or are from Queens? A large Russian Jewish community. And that, after that, then they changed my district again. That means you have to meet 700,000 new people, but what a pleasure it's been. Um, now I represent all of Rockland. Ro anybody from Rockland County here? No, you have to go over the river or over the bridge. Um, and <laughs> part of Westchester County. But all that time, as a young Jewish woman, uh, the issues that we share are key to my life. And as a Jewish member of the House of Representatives, I am guided by the age-old tradition of tikkun olam, that I have a responsibility to better the world for all current and future generations, for Jews, non-Jews alike. It's an important principle in my role as representative for the residents of my district, as well as for my responsibility as ranking member of the House Appropriations Committee and its State and Foreign Operations Subcommittee. Now, we just finished. I'm also a Democrat, in case you want to know. So if I'm a little partial, we really negotiated bipartisan and completed the bill for 2017. But just wait, we're starting the bill for 2018. And the only thing I can be sure of is the money for Israel and the US relationship, all the money and foreign aid and military. Uh, assistance will be secure because there's strong bipartisan support and I'm proud of that. Anything else in Mr. Trump's budget I can't be sure of. For example, believe it or not, he's not going to succeed. We're not going to let him succeed, but he wants to even cut six billion dollars for the National Institutes of Health. And this is absurd because I'm so proud of the work and the research we do to help diseases all here and all over the world. But I'm not supposed to be giving you a speech on that, so I'll come back another time to tell you about the budget. Hopefully we'll succeed. Now, there is a person we all admired who was driven by the ideals of tikkun olam, and that was Elie Wiesel. Elie was the embodiment of perseverance in the darkest and most brutal chapter in human history. Someone who devoted his life advocating for human rights and dignity. I've met with him in Washington in small groups and large groups, 
and how proud we all were and are for his legacy. Lemud FSU has really done a mitzvah in opening the Elie Wiesel exhibit in Moscow. I've been to Moscow several times. Maybe they won't let me in next time. <laughs> you never know. But I do want to see the exhibit in Moscow that I'm sure is extraordinary, which would provide an opportunity for the Russian community to learn about Ellie's unrivaled fight for peace, justice, and decency. I will forever consider myself privileged to have known Ellie, and I'm so proud to be an original co-sponsor of H.R. 2230, a bill to commission a statute or bust in honor of Ellie that would be placed in the U.S. Capitol. How important it will be for people to walk by that statue and remember Ellie and all the extraordinary legacy he leaves with us. In Ellie's memory, let us recommit ourselves to the hallowed promise of never again. I want to thank you very, very much for inviting me here tonight. I know this will be an extraordinary conference. I want to thank my good friend Sandy and her great supporter, Stuart, for honoring me here. And I am thrilled to share a few words with you. And I know, I know this will be such a worthwhile experience for everyone gathered. Thank you very, very much.